Hi, hi, hi you guys. I am Marsha Rose and welcome to my channel. I am so pissed right now because I started doing this video and I did another video. I talked for like five minutes but did not have my freaking peace for you guys to hear me with. So I'm just talking, talking, talking and it's nothing nobody's hearing anything so I said all of that for nothing but anyways I am headed on my way to Florida to see my family my mom and my dad is down in Florida they've been there for a few for like a week so I was like you know what I should go down there just to visit for a little while um, because I was honestly it's my days off and I didn't really feel like being alone so I said let me go to Florida so I decided to go yesterday and I am now on a flight today on my way there um, I am so upset like I feel like I hurt my finger like today started off very interesting but I did not allow it to mess with me because for some reason everything happens but earlier today while I was fucking going through security and all of that stuff and I have my shoes um, I was putting my shoes on in the line I think I sprained my finger like this shit like hurts and I feel like it's swollen you know, like I bend it, it hurt. I'm not even trying to bend it right now, but I am in pain right now. So that's what happened. That's one thing that happened. Then I go to my connecting city. Delayed flight. It wasn't delayed that long, so it wasn't too bad. It was about probably like less than an hour. A little less than an hour it was delayed. So it wasn't too bad. Um with that but I was pretty chill relaxed the whole time didn't become impatient um, not upset I'm just definitely on chill mode not trying to get anything upset Get make anything get me upset I like yeah now I am here on this flight I was like you know what I was watching a few YouTube videos and um, I was like you know what let me do my own little YouTube video while I'm on here because I ain't, honestly ain't doing shit but sitting here so why not talk some shit about some shit so guys I have some news I am single yes yes I am newly single I was in a relationship for almost eight years and had to let it go like I was losing who I was I was allowing certain things that I know I wasn't okay with I didn't feel comfortable that's how I knew that I was losing myself and I needed to back away from that situation you know like I was starting to feel like I had to deal with certain things just to keep to say I was in a relationship you know and I don't like that shit honestly I don't like that shit I'm a person that don't need nobody I want people but I don't need anyone so I realized that I was getting to the point of becoming codependent and I don't want to be codependent because I came into this world by myself and I'm gonna leave this world by myself so like being dependent on somebody, especially people that can hurt you, is not okay with me. That's one fear that I have. And I'm not just going to allow certain things to happen and pretend that I'm okay with it just to say that I have someone. So there's that. Um, so I'm on this journey to self-love loving myself and you know like spending time with family spending time with friends 
Because honestly, I realize I lose myself a lot when I become, when I, when I get into a relationship. So now I'm like, you know what, I don't want to do that anymore. So let me focus on doing what I want to do that makes me, myself, happy. Like, because I've never been single. I have been from relationship to relationship, relationship since I was like 19 years old. So I always had to think about someone else before I did anything. And like now I want to be able to focus on me and what makes me happy so that when I get into a relationship later on down the road, I'm able to separate myself and my relationship in a healthy way. So right now I'm just taking time to just like do what I need to do for self and make myself happy and love on myself and enjoy myself and enjoy my family. So I've been back and forth to Connecticut, visiting friends there. Um, now I'm going to Florida. Last month I went to Connecticut. This month I'm going to Florida. Um, next month I'll probably be doing something else too but I'm practically doing everything by myself so I'm very proud of myself and happy for myself with that and I'm just gonna I'm trying to elevate myself as well through this process so I'm excited about what God has in store for me with this time that I'm had. like sometimes isolation is necessary sometimes being with yourself is necessary and I'm learning that so that's what I'm doing right now and I'm on this plane I'm about to go see my mom and dad I don't know what we about to do I'm probably gonna make think of some stuff because that's just me and we about to do it but you guys are going to see. You guys are going to be there. Um, we should be in Florida within the next few minutes. So, I'm excited. Like, I'm really excited because I need some heat. It's freaking cold as hell up in North Carolina. It was hot a few days. But, like, it's cold. And, like, Florida is, like, 80 degrees right now. So, I'm excited about that. So, yeah, let me go get some sun and relax. So, I'm here. I've been here for the past few minutes. And I took a shower. I had my therapy session. Um... Now I'm in the car waiting for my parents to come. They in the house still because they wanted to just like get everything out the way. But I had to come and take a shower and get dressed. Like I'm not wearing airport clothes out, you know. Then I had me some crackers. <clears throat> Excuse me, that my father had and some banana and a banana. <sighs> and I am a little tired. I'm a little crabby because my period literally literally just came so i'm quite upset with that because i really wanted to go to the pool but i'm not about to go to the pool anymore but yeah so so me and the parentals we went to we're at sharky's right now um, it is beautiful. It's like a restaurant on the beach. It's really nice. I'm gonna go up further to the water so I can give you guys a view of this scenery because it's beautiful. Like, I can't wait to sit and eat by here. Like, I love to be by the water. Eating. Look at it. It is beautiful. Huh? Yeah, that shrimp looked good too. Nice. Yeah, it looks like upstairs have a table. 
but I don't know if people dare or not. Uh -huh. <laughs> but you go on the boat though. since like 4 30 in the morning and i got like four hours of sleep so i am exhausted right now so i am about to get ready to go to sleep at 8 10 a.m i mean p.m at 8 10 p.m i am going to sleep i have not done that in so long but i deserve it i need it i need this nap i know i'm gonna wake in the middle of the night and i'm sure i'm gonna call you talk to you guys then but right now it is nap time but i had a really good time that restaurant was beautiful the sunset everything it was amazing and my parents had a good time and the live music was great but, good night y'all well I'm going on F to sleep. Bye, y'all. Good morning, y'all. It's literally 9 a.m. I just got up. Well, I had got up earlier today. And because I did go to sleep early last night, I got up at like 5 this morning. <laughs> but then I was like 9. And then I went to sleep. At like seven. And that was like nine. And I want to go for a bike ride. So I'm going to go for a bike ride real quick. Um, 
my father has his bike here, so I was like, let me go for a bike ride because I love bike rides. So about to go and head out to go on this hair bike ride. All right, guys. See you in a minute. About to ride this bike. So yeah, I am out here on this bike. Woo! This bike is high. Like this is my father's bike, so it's a really high bike. But I'm about to ride the fuck out of it. It's a nice ass day. It's not cold. It's actually warm. So I mean it's windy and sunny. So this seems like a good time to ride my bike. So I'm about to go on this bike ride. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm just going to ride. But let me get this bike ride in. Yeah, my mom just made me this smoothie. And it brought me back to my childhood. I swear, when I was younger, <laughs> I used to go to Florida and visit um, one of my mom's friends. And she used to make us, she used to make us smoothies. And then... It was so disgusting. Like this ain't like the regular smoothies that I eat, what I drink. It tastes just like the smoothie that that lady used to feed us. And then me, I wouldn't want to drink it. So, so every time I would be the last person sitting at the table trying to finish this damn smoothie, like, and my mom gave me a big glass of it. But it's healthy, so that's why it don't taste like the ones that I usually get. So, I'm going to have to drink it. Because I need something healthy in my stomach. They out there. My mom's out there on the prayer line. That's what you're hearing. But, yeah, I'm about to drink this smoothie. So I did my little bicycle ride. I rode around a few times, like five times, five, six times I rode around. Ooh, then I came back in here in this little area that I love so much. It's a sunroom, I guess that's what they call it, to do my meditation. It was so relaxing. Like I can't wait to come back here so I can do my thing here it's so peaceful over here like really 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 peaceful but yeah so about to get ready to go back home don't want to go but I have to go gotta go back to work so I have to bring my ass on this flight. I'm about to get ready to go back home to go get ready for work tomorrow morning. It feels so good out here. It's so good. Hey, right, look. It's really nice out. It's a really nice day today. So my flight is in Charlotte. I'm in Charlotte right now. And um, my next flight doesn't leave until like three hours from now. So I'm just sitting here. I'm about to eat me a, a cinnamon. And then I am going to watch going to watch um, Young Rich Africans. I think that's what it's called. I watched it already but I want to watch it again because it seemed like I missed some parts because I looked at a review and it seemed like I missed some parts. So, about to sit and relax and watch this damn show. I am home now. So, I've been home for like 5-10 minutes. 
I already changed. I already unpacked. And I am about to relax. I'm a little hungry, so I might just get a little snacky snack. But um, but overall, my trip was amazing. I had a great time with my mom and my dad. Um, we talked. We laughed. We shared things. It was fun. I had a really good time. And I'm happy that I went. And now I'm all refreshed to go back to work tomorrow. But I'm about to go my tired ass. Get something to eat. Looking in the fridge trying to see what's in there. And then I'm about to go back upstairs after I eat. And relax. But my trip was amazing. Bye, you guys.